just tell her that you're not really Santa Claus? That there actually is no such person? I wish I was that girl from the Gucci store. She never wore any makeup and she owns couture. I got pimples with my beauty mark should be. I got giant skin on my elbows and knees. I never liked her. Wanted to be like her. Hate how you look at her. Cause you never saw me. Like I was an artist. Like I was an ordinary. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Breezy Babes? It's your girl Bree, aka Robert Romero, and I am back with another freaking video. If you don't know who I am, hi, I'm Robert Romero. If you don't know, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be a mom vlog. The real life and reality of being a mom. 248 no more. Probably went to sleep. I was trying to go to sleep soon. Uh, 11? I'm just laying down. My daughter was asleep. I woke back up. We're in like 11, 11. 11. And I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe she's hungry. Have my boyfriend go get her bottle. Put it in a woman. Whatever, whatever. Give it to her about like 11, 50. Okay, she ate. Birthday changed her cool. I'm not going to go to sleep. No. I try to let her on me. She starts having a fit. Normally, she likes on me. So when she's tired, she won't accept nothing but like laying on me. Like for during the day, she be cool. But laying on my boyfriend, laying down by herself. But when she's ready to go to sleep for the night, because she sleeps for a long time through the night, she wants to lay in my boobs. So, I let her out. Y'all, she starts scratching me up. We've been up for so long. She starts scratching me up, starts hitting me, start all type of shit. So I'm like, bro. She's not sleepy, so I left her up. She's cool with me, okay? She's not sleepy. Mind y'all. It's like 11.57. She's okay. I put on the TV. Let her watch Miss Rachel. She does that shit. She's gonna go to sleep. No. She stayed up for an hour watching that shit before I was like, okay. She's, I seen her yawning. She started getting fidgety and shit again. So I'm like, okay, you know, maybe she's tired. I don't latch my baby. I latch her once in a while because if she's sick, then her saliva will like send the message to my body. Like we need like, I think it's either more antibodies or certain antibodies to get rid of her sickness. So <sighs> I latch her like once in a while. I haven't lasted her in a minute, like two weeks, because I don't breastfeed. Oh, my camera's dying, so I'm about to switch to my phone. Okay, y'all, so like I was saying, I haven't lasted her in like two weeks or whatever, so I'm like, okay, you know what? I know that the milk that my body produces between 12 and 3 a.m. has higher levels of melatonin, and the milk my body produces during like the rest of the time has higher levels of cortisol. So, <clears throat> I'm like, okay. I'm going to latch her melatonin milk and she's gonna go to sleep. I latched her, she was asleep, knocked out hands like knock. So I lift her up to burp her because I'm like, I can't, no matter how bad I want her to go to sleep, I cannot just lay her down or lay her on me without her burping. That's gonna, like, you know, make her gassy, fussy, and all that other shit. She's gonna have like air bubbles and shit in her stomach or whatever. So I'm like, she's gonna throw up. She's like, 
it's just gonna be bad. So I'm like, I have to burp her. So I burp her thinking that, cause normally when I burp her at nighttime, she'll still be asleep and she'll go back to sleep or just whatever. Y'all, I tried to burp her. This girl opens her eyes wide up. She burps. I'm like, oh, that's a big burp. I tried to lay her on me. Y'all, she starts doing it again. So I'm like, bro, what the hell? So I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe she needs change. So I changed her again. By this point, I didn't fed her, burped her, changed her th two times. So I'm like, okay, she should be ready to sleep now. So I lay her back on me. She starts tripping. So I set her back up. And she wants to watch Miss Rachel. I'm not watching Miss Ra Miss Rachel all night. I'm just, I can I'm not doing it. I'm literally not doing it. I'm sorry, baby. I love you to death. I would do anything in the world. For you but i'm super tired and the last thing i want to do is stay up till eight o'clock in the morning watching miss rachel so <sighs> yeah that's what's going on she's sleep now i put her in that swing bust these dishes down i'm like that swing is my last resort she loves this swing she has two swings but she loves this one i'm like that swing is my last resort because one once i put her in there she falls asleep if i take her out she wake back up two if I put her in that swing, I'm gonna, it, since it can't fit in our room, I'm gonna have to go in the kitchen or the living room. If I go in the living room, that the living room was an automatic no. I don't let my daughter sleep in any of her like devices, like her swing, her bouncer. I don't let her sleep in anything but the bassinet and the bed because when it's just, um, I think it's called like sleep it's asphyxiation. And when the baby's chin is touching their chest, they it cuts off their airway when they're asleep, they have a hard time breathing. So I don't want her sleeping in any of her stuff because babies automatically like are like that. So I don't want her sleeping in any of her stuff. I'm like, if I go in the living room, I'm gonna fall asleep. So she's gonna be stuck in her swing all night. And we're not doing that. So I'm not, I'm gonna have to get up and wash dishes. If I decide to put her in that swing, I'm gonna have to get up and wash dishes. Because I had to do something while she's in that swing. We got up and washed dishes. I was about to clean, start cleaning the room, but I'm just like, I don't know. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. It's three o'clock. Well, it's two fifty-five. It's her next feed time. I really want to skip it because if she, if I take her out and she goes to, if she stays asleep, I'm getting the fuck in the bed. I'm tired. I've been having the craziest, most craziest week, y'all. We have not, if you watched my last video, then you know we went to the pumpkin patch and shit. That was like a week, a week ago from around this time because it's Friday now because it's 2.57 in the morning. But from last weekend, we still have not recovered from having the kids from last weekend. And normally we would bounce back within like, like we would drop the kids off Sunday night, clean up the whole house, get everything together for the week, whatever. Here and there, we would be thrown off on a Monday, but that's it. We've been thrown off the whole week, but I guess it is. It would be different now. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just patting my head. I'm just going crazy. It's just so bad. It would be different now because now we have a baby before we didn't have a baby. So, yeah, and then they, it wasn't the kids' fault, but the air was air conditioner was on, and they had her in the same room with them, which is the living room, with the air conditioner on. So, it was air blowing her face. She became colicky and just, and she, it's been on and on since last weekend. So I don't know how often we're going to be getting the kiddos because, baby, it's throwing my schedule off during the week. And I just cannot be doing that. I'm tired. So, yeah, I'm going to take her out. Hopefully, she stays asleep. Pray for me, y'all. I've been having a crazy ass week. Like, one of my pumps is fucked up. I'm in a between, my head is all over the place. I'll talk to y'all more about that later. I just, I'm trying to figure life out right now. I don't know what the hell is going on. I'm just going to, I'm take, waking up every day, going day by day. And I'm never done at the end of the day, so. I don't fucking know.
car so y'all know we're going to target it is sickness season my house is sick my boyfriend and my baby my boyfriend's nephew came over and he had a cough and i woke up to my baby being congested my boyfriend's th throat hurting i'm about to go to the store and get some chicken so i can make like chicken and rice soup or whatever because it's now like five o'clock so it's time to start making dinner and shit um i'm also about to go to target to get fuck it's a lot of people out i'm also about to go to target to get um some Vicks baby rub and the Freedom Mom vapor drops for her humidifier. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. Ah, it's so folly outside. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love the gloomy, like not sad, but like relaxed vibe. You know? So yeah, I left my camera. So I'm on my phone, of course. We are headed to Target. I'm gonna see y'all when we get there. I'm probably not gonna see y'all in Giant Eagle. I always see y'all in Target and Giant Eagle. Y'all probably like, bitch, you go to Target and Giant Eagle once or two or three times a week. And I apologize, cause they do. But that's why my necessities is that which I expect. No. So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all when we get there, maybe. Because I don't know. Okay, y'all, I'm back from Target. I've been back for a little minute. I had to feed my baby. Um I had to feed my baby and I had to pump. I actually latched her because of the fact that um, she was a little bit congested. In case she has a cold, I want my body to be able to create. I don't know if I told y'all this or if I, if I said, I don't fucking know. But I want my body to be able to create the right antibodies or whatever. So all of the milk in the fridge, I'm about to freeze. I'm about to put that up now. I'm about to show y'all. This is how much I got from the boot that she latched on to. That's not bad. So I'll make sure I'll show y'all my titties. This is the other one. So yeah, um, let me tell y'all everything. I got the Free the Baby Breathe Easy Kit. I got these vapor um, pod things for a shower for me and my boyfriend. Um, I got some seasonings. I got the Lansino. Lansino. Y'all know that breast pumping brand or just the mom brand or whatever, baby brand, whatever it is. That's purple and shit. Yeah, that brand. I got them breast milk bags. I got, oh, I got um, a Dr. Brown's anti-colic glass bottle so I can see how I like it. Because I have the plastic one. But if I like it, then I'm going to go get like some more, a big thing of them tomorrow. Um, either tomorrow or the next day, I don't know. But I am getting a deep freezer tomorrow. It's supposed to be. Hopefully it go right. Hopefully it's not a stop. This is how much. So I'm going. I have so much to do. And it's 7:27. And I'm trying to be in bed by 10, which don't seem like it's gonna happen. But I might have to grind. Um. Yeah. I gotta unload the sterilizer. Load it back up wash them pump parts freeze that milk give her a bath hop in the shower so we're about to see how fast i can get this done. i don't even know if i'm gonna talk to y'all you know it's been a super slow day for me but it's also been a long day if that makes sense are not even going to freeze flat that was my purpose of getting these so that they could freeze flat but these not even going to freeze flat because i don't have nowhere to put them for them to freeze flat like this is ridiculous but i'm about to get y'all internet niece in the bath i showed y'all that showed me 
getting her bath together yesterday even though it's gonna be a little bit different today because she is sick i'm still not gonna show y'all again because i just showed y'all yesterday so i'm gonna see y'all when i'm getting in the shower I'm about to show y'all. I feel so freaking good. Like, that thing really worked. Like, I feel like relaxed, cleared out, all of that shit. I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to see y'all when it's time for me to cook. Okay, I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of context. So, this was a couple of days later. Um, I honestly don't know what the fuck is going on in this vlog. I just want to let y'all know that this was not the same day. And that's why, because it kind of threw me off when I was editing it. And I wanted to scrap the whole video, not going to lie to y'all. But, this was a couple of days later. That's why I have on different clothes and it jumped clips like that. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I think some footage might have got deleted, but I'm not sure. But this is a learning lesson for me because I will not sit on videos like this because now I don't even know what the hell is going on in this video. I plan on giving my baby a bath and getting in the shower while the food was cooking. I've been in the kitchen vibing and all of that other good shit the whole time and forgot to even get in. The chicken is in the oven and it's going to be done in three minutes. It's going to be done in three minutes. You okay, Shinka? Green beans still not done, so I'm probably gonna leave it in for a little bit longer so I could get one of our like hot jeans together. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm, I still got a bag milk. I still got a bag milk and prep bottle. So yeah, I'm about to try to hurry up and do all of this. Okay, so, oh shit. This is the milk that's going in her bath. These is from unfinished bottles. And when I use my manual pump, I think it was like some hair in it or something. I don't know. And I ended up just pouring all of that milk that I pumped because I got a pump to keep my supply up, but I didn't want to waste the milk. So I put it in here. So this is all going to her bath. I'm going to go put this in her bath right now. Y'all, I was supposed to be filming a mini vlog. I forgot to record me, like, cooking, cooking. And I forgot to record me, dang. I forgot to record me giving my baby a bath because it was just so much going on. I knew I was forgetting to do something. I'm about to put this food up, man. Because me and my boyfriend ate. I'm full. He, and he still got food on his plate. When we eat leftovers tomorrow, I'm probably gonna have to make some more green beans and mashed potatoes, but that's okay because the meat is already done. I'm not tripping off of it. y'all don't follow me on tiktok this is 85 ounces and i don't have nowhere to put it i'm like stressing so bad y'all don't know what the fuck i'm about to do i have no clue at all and it's just like it's rows and rows and rows of milk i'm trying to 
put some back. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Okay, y'all, so all that milk I bag wouldn't fit in the freezer. So I fit what I could over here. And then I called my boyfriend in the kitchen because I decided we were just going to reorganize the freezer hoping it would make more room. And now we can't get the bags back in the freezer. So this is what we're stuck dealing with. Because I had the brightest idea in the world to just take all the milk out and reorganize it. Yes, you do. I don't know what the hell I'm about to do because it's, it's entirely to too much milk. I'm going to find it. And I got to pump in 30 minutes so we don't have more milk. Don't say it like that. <laughs> And if this shit don't act right, I'm gonna put it. This shit told you what I told you. Okay, y'all, it's 3 34 in the morning. I still have to wash bottles and pump. And we gotta feed the baby. My boyfriend's currently taping the freezer shut to make sure <laughs> there's nothing, no milk fall out, because I'm scared that it's gonna fall out. So, he's taping the freezer shut, and I'm gonna go take my happy ass over to Walmart at the ass crack of dawn to go get a fucking freezer. Is there something going wrong up there? <laughs> I still have to wash bottles. I still gotta take a shit. I, I gotta know. wash bottles. My, baby, my boyfriend gotta feed the baby. I gotta pump and I gotta get in the shower. My boyfriend gotta rub me. Bro, we ain't doing all that tonight. Why do you think we not doing it? My boyfriend gotta rub me, bro. If you would've been, stop playing around with milk in the freezer. He's pissed because I try to make more room for our daughter's milk. Like, he mad at me because I produce 80 something ounces of milk. That's not my fucking, you, my fucking problem. Listen, nigga, you, He's pissed because I try to make room for the 85 bro, ounces of milk. Yeah, listen in. You just keep doing Okay, this. go ahead. Look, look. <laughs> you took the frozen freezer. Took the frozen milk out the freezer. Mm -hmm. You put it in there when it was melted. Mm -hmm. When it was liquid. Mm -hmm. And you take it out when it's frozen. But listen, this is how could you what, put it back in you there? That's not to, how you put it in there. That is how I put it in there. I let it freeze no. like flat as it can, and then I stack them. I never just put the milk on top of each other. I let it freeze, and then I put it on top of each other. That's no. what I'm saying. I had room in there before you ain't to let it. Once. No. That's what I'm saying. I'm about. Dude, this is what I'm telling you. He's not listening. He don't understand because he don't. You're break. making no sense. He don't pump and put milk into bags. You don't understand my pain. What the fuck do pain gotta do with you taking it out the fucking freezer this late? This is what I'm telling you. I try to make room for our baby's milk. He's talking about you put it in her bag. You me. I know that. He's talking about put it in her bag. Why would I put perfectly good milk in her bag? I'm trying to build a well, freezer stash. I'm fuck that milk in her bag. I'm... Why not? Hmm? Just because the milk could be old and it's still beneficial to her skin. Hmm? That don't mean she can drink it. She, she can't consume <laughs> fucked up milk. Don't sit up here and act all dumb. Do you know what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> bro, anyway, go, bro. You Listen. can't say I'm mad. You produced the 80 ounces of milk tonight. Why the fuck could I be mad at 80 ounces of milk? Listen, this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to build a freezer stash so I can be drunken in six months. <laughs> I'm not trying to be doing this for the rest of my life. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Drunk in six months. Yes, I need to be drunk. My birthday is coming up and everything. Like, <laughs> I'm about to be 21. Like, I be on the counter. No, I'm not. No, no. It's less than six months away. What fuck is you talking about? No, it's not. I How mean, <laughs> you thought you were talking about something. It's less than nine months away. It's eight months away. <laughs> ID on the counter, drunk, shots back to back, margaritas, lemon drop, all of that shit. I'm not trying to be sober for the rest of my life. It's like, no, but no, seriously, I don't want to be breastfeeding forever. This shit hurts. My nipples be hurting and my titties be sore and I be engorged. And I like to sleep through the night. You get to sleep. I can't tell. I know the fuck I don't. Nigga, in the morning, nigga, nigga, in the morning time, I be getting up to go pump. <laughs> you always waking me up. I be waking you up to, um, tomorrow morning, that's for sure. Get up and change her. And then you fucking change her, nigga. You got it was fucking fucking in the afternoon, nigga. No, nigga, I oh, seen it. God, it was 9 o'clock in the morning. No, it wasn't. I swear to God, I swear to God, on no, her you, life, you, I swear to God, no, it was 12, no, 1 o'clock. No, I fed her at 12 and pumped at 12. about that time. When you first told him. This morning? Yeah. I swear to God, it was 1 o'clock. I swear to God, you won't know what's Bro, y'all. I looked at the TV. This is dumb now. ass nigga. Like, no. You stupid. You a lying. You fucking know. I woke up at 2 o'clock because I fed her at 12. I swear to God. You gonna say, swear to God, all you want. I looked at the clock. I looked at the TV. I said 9.35 or something like that. 
And we woke up at, I woke up at two and changed her. That's when you finally got up. I'm no. When you first told me to. When I first told you, I changed her this morning. Listen, I woke up and fed her and pumped and changed her. And I was still up. Then I fed her and changed Cry her. Me I mean, I fed and pumped again. Rap. This nigga, this dumbass nigga, man. Cry me a river. Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm in the middle of filming content for TikTok. This is the setup. Um, for TikTok shop, actually. I gotta take these out. <sighs> for TikTok shop. So this is the outfit, and I also got one of the last shit. I filmed the video already. I still got one more to film after these. We're probably filming it tomorrow. <sighs> Touch up my curls. Curls for the girls. Okay, y'all, I finished the TikTok, but now I gotta touch up my hair. I'm about to have my boyfriend take some pictures of me before I go. And then I'm probably gonna change my jacket because it's too cold. It's like 50 something degrees outside. It's too cold to be going outside in this jean jacket. Y'all, guess where we going? Y'all will never fucking guess to fucking Walmart. Yes, we're going to Walmart. I gotta get a deep freezer. That little shit that went on last night, that shit can never happen again. I'm not dealing with this shit ever again. So, in order to avoid it, we're gonna go get a deep freezer. Right now, I was been supposed to. I just take my time doing everything. So, yeah. <sighs> I should have just ordered it online and had to bring it out. But I'm like, if they can't get it in the car, I'm going to be upset because my trunk don't open. Like, for like a year, out of one day, it just stopped opening. So, I'm like, I'm not about to fool around with that shit. I'm going to be embarrassed fuck they can't get that shit in there because then what the fuck am I supposed to do? But worst kind of worst, I just called my grandpa and he came up there and put it in his truck, so... Y'all already know I'm salty. I even got to go in here. I hate going in Walmart. Like, <sighs> I'm about to go in. Hopefully they got it because if they don't, I'm going to be pissed because for one, it's a lot of people here. For two, I don't like coming here and it's at nighttime. So it's way more people here because in the morning is when everybody be asleep and getting back in from partying and all the other shit. <sighs> I hate coming in here. I'm procrastinating still. I just want to, I'm about to hurry up. I want to get back to my baby. There's so many people here. I hope I don't see nobody I know. Because I'm going to be mad as fuck. And I'm by myself. Hope I ain't got to hurt nobody. Now I'm looking for a Ziploc bag so I can brick her milk. I think they're sitting right here. Everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm just running around with this big ass freezer in front of me. Y'all, so like three people asked me on my way out, like, did you need help? Well, it was a man when I first walked out, and then it was a, another man getting his car by me. Then it was uh, another man across from me. And they was all like, do you need help? And I'm like, no, I got it. Thank you. Because if you know me, you know I'm a big ass scary cat. Like, I be scared that people be wanting to hurt me. Like, and they all seem genuine. But I'm just, I'm scary. I'm so scary. Like, my biggest fear is not making it home to my baby. So... I'm just like, no, I gotta thank you, y'all. When I tell y'all I was so fucking scared that it wasn't gonna fit in, so I take it off of the, well, I got it off of the buggy a little bit. And I'm like, bro, it's not going in, so I'm okay, the buggy in the way. So I kick the buggy out the way. I kick the buggy out the way. And, um, 
Yeah, so I picked the buggy out the way. I started pushing it in, so it was going in. So I'm like, okay, okay. It stopped. So I'm like, bro, my baby's car seat base in the way, the seat in the way, what the fuck going on? So I look in, I see ain't nothing in the way. Y'all push that bitch so hard, cause I'm like, I don't want nobody else asking me, do I need help? Cause I feel like I sound rude telling people, no, I don't need help. I probably did need help, but I probably wouldn't be huffing and puffing and breathing all hard and shit. This heat is like, got me hot. And I almost ran a red light. But yeah, I'm about to call my boyfriend because oh, this was a fucking, a fucking crazy mission. Yeah, I'll just put you on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram. Or follow me on Instagram. But um, I'm about to open this up. I don't know the instructions on it. Like, if I gotta let it sit before I plug it in. Because some was saying that. Okay, y'all. We got the deep freezer, and it's right here. They say to let it sit for an hour. But I'm gonna call my grandma and see how long she let her sit because, yeah, my grandma been having deep freezer since I was like two. Okay, y'all, we just, it is, it's 2.35 in the morning. We just got done organizing, bagging, adding up all the ounces, and organizing the seed for them. This is what it looked like. No room. So we're probably going to have our freezer back for like a month and some change before we got to give it back up to the milk. So this is what, it's, how it's looking, what's going on. So yeah, that's pretty much. I'm gonna take a picture of this real quick. This is crazy. Okay, y'all. It's the next day. We're about to go to Target. I have to. We gotta get her some more diapers. We gotta get her some more diapers, and we gotta get. Some more breast milk bags. Huh? And then we're gonna go get some food and we might start by my grandma's house. Yeah. Okay, we in Target. I'm getting her diapers. We got the Huggy special delivery ones last time because they was out of the middle room. So we're going back to what the fuck we know. Hey y'all, we got the Pampers and we got the breast milk bags, but we got a snowsuit and a hat too because it's getting cold outside. And I've been coming here looking for them and they got them, so that's what we got. We just walk into the front now. That ain't bad. That ain't bad either. This is what I go through. I try to leave the house looking decent. This is what I go through. So, back to the nursing bras we go. I only got the things that I showed y'all, which was the breast milk bags, her hat, her snowsuit, and them diapers. Um, my boyfriend ended up getting Swinson's. I ate some of his food. And I got Arby's. Um, so, yeah. Probably going to be editing and cleaning up today. Working on my ebook. Okay, y'all, this is Future Me editing me. We are currently, it is like the end of December, and I'm trying to push these videos out. I kid y'all not, I was going to have been having these videos out, but I had to wait for this piece to come in the mail because I was in the middle of filming Christmas content, and this happened. This is the screen to my camera. It broke. And I could no longer use the Canon app because I couldn't, my camera wouldn't turn on. It's completely broke. I had to get a whole new camera. So I couldn't even get on my camera app to save the videos to my phone to edit. So I'm so behind and I'm really pissed because I have so much I want to do for vlogmas. But I'm going to just give y'all 
all of the content from this year and start fresh next year. And we're not going to do this getting behind shit because I'm going to film one video and edit one video at a time. And I'm not filming no more until I'm done with the first one. So, that's just what it is. Um, I didn't want y'all to think I was just like, you know, flaking on y'all or nothing because I was dead ass serious. But we're still going to push them out. It's still going to be vlogging this two, three, four, whatever the fuck the case may be. We're just getting these videos out. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to call it vlogmas, but it does have the vlogmas intro because that's the intro that I have on it. And I started editing. Like, oh my God. Like, everything's just. Stuff don't always go as planned, but you know, you just, you problem solve, and you go with the flow, and just, you know, yeah. So, that's just pretty much what it was. I didn't do an outro on this video, so that's it for this video. If you guys like this video, don't like this video, comment down below. If you guys want to next, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notified when I post. Share my videos with my friends and tell a friend. I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye, peace, you guys.